Hey, when Elliot Harrison put together his list of the top five greatest Packers of all time, it, it says something when you've got Aaron Rodgers at number five on this list. Yeah, you know, it's very similar to the Bears that we did that I wanted to have someone from the modern era, and this is him. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. I don't feel like this is forcing it at number five. At this point, given that he's won the MVP award twice, Mark, you've been named the best player in the league twice, don't you deserve some mention as a possible candidate for top you, five. You do. Uh, this is a tough list to make, I imagine. We'll talk about some names that didn't make it uh, in a moment, but let's get to number four right now. How about Forrest Gregg? We listed him as the best number 20 draft pick of all time. Hails from Birthright, Texas. And if you can find that on a map, you're better than me. Hey, boy, Forrest Gregg, the real deal. North played, of Sulphur Springs, by the way. I've played at SMU, big guy, and also played his final season with the Dallas Cowboys. End up being a great coach as well, uh, coach for Cleveland, coach for Green Bay and Cincinnati. Forrest Gregg at one time I had as the second greatest Packer of all time. This is very tricky. Are we talking the best players to ever wear a Packers uniform or the best Packers? Forrest Gregg could be at the top of this list if we're just talking about the best player to play for the Packers because no one was better at his position than Forrest Gregg, and Vince Lombardi said that himself. Hey, this guy, you and I have talked about him before, Don Hudson. He might be, on some people's list, the greatest wide receiver of all time, but because he played so long ago, obviously Jerry Rice is who we'd normally assume to be the number one guy, but you could make a case for Don Hudson. Yeah, you bet. Mark, you know, the media group asked me to pick the best wide receivers in league history coming off of Megatron's retirement to see where he would stack up. Don Hudson, I had his number two. Don Hudson was so far and away of everyone else on the leaderboard when he retired. Over 200 receptions more than the next closest guy. Arguably the best offensive player of the first 50 years in the history of the NFL. Yeah, you go back and you watch some of the tape, you look at some of the numbers for him. Just a stellar career uh, in a time when, before the era of the wide receiver that we've seen now. So some of those guys yeah. get lost, but with the Packers, a lot of them do because there have been so many great players. But when it comes down to the top two, it's quarterbacks, and the question for fans watching is, all right, what's the order going to be? Who's number two? Who's number one? I'll go ahead and spoil it. Brett Favre. There's Brett Favre. something about Brett Favre that puts him in number two. Yeah, you know, and, and this is where it gets tough. Brett Favre was fantastic. Earlier when I did this before, I had Forrest Gregg ahead of Brett Favre because I thought Forrest Gregg might be the best left tackle that ever played the game. I'm not sure that Brett Favre is the greatest quarterback. On the other hand, we're saying who is the best Green Bay Packer who did people want to watch? And people around the country. And he defined that watch. franchise for the years when he was Yes, he, exactly. He defined the franchise. When you thought Packers of the 90s, you thought Brett Favre. Not Absolutely. to mention three, uh, excuse me, three straight MVPs. You're not going to have a tackle win MVP of the league. Brett Favre deserving of this spot. And, oh, by the way, won Super Bowl 31. Hey, as be, be honest, though. Is he at number two because you were always a Niners fan? No. That's just something about Mary Joe. All right, moving on to number one, Bart Starr. All I remember is Frank and Bean. <laughs> you're all, let's, we should definitely move on now. Uh, your all-time number one greatest Green Bay Packers. Yeah, Bart Starr for me is number one. Bart Starr, first of all, synonymous with the Packers franchise. Played his entire 16-year career there. His career started out rough. He ended up becoming a champion. Ended up becoming the head coach of the team. You see the two-time Super Bowl MVP. Oh, by the way, kind of important Super Bowls, one and two. This deep ball you're seeing right here is from the 1966 NFL title game, which sent the Packers to Super Bowl one. Overall, Bart Starr, nine and one in the postseason, dude. Nine and Epic. one. Epic. Yes, Bart Starr, fantastic Packer. Then obviously this okay. list. We see the top five. Who, who who didn't make it? Who were the hardest guys to leave off? Oh man, I had to leave off James Lofton. I left off Jim Taylor. I left off Willie Wood, Herb Adderley. But I love having Don Hudson on there, man. I first 50 years in NFL history, he and Sammy Ball, two greatest players. There you have it. Top five Packers of all time, according to Elliot Harrison.